Sheer Magnolia Salon. And For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beresford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. This time of year, you're probably thinking about spring. We are too at Grossenberg because it's time for our annual filter sale. Save 16% on John Deere and Fleet Guard filters. Use our customer portal and save 18%. So stock up on filters now and don't let anything slow you down come spring. Stop in one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Partner up. Offer ends March 31st. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers. Lead the field this season and beyond. Find your local crop consultant at NutrienAgSolutions.com. Ag Service Partners is your trusted company for Pioneer Seed, Chemicals, and Crop Insurance. Pioneer Seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field. Ag Service Partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance. Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the Bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. 
The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities, and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule an appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. Give it off to CC, gliding the basket, out to free Jay Hayes, good. And Eric Lemon wants to stop the music. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford. Fiesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Fiesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including Auto Owners Insurance, of course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your spot with Live Ticket TV. With over 65 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you find the right market. Plus, you can work with me, Heath, and 
a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town has changed. Yeah. About damn time. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials, W-E, we. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. World is full of demon stocks and bonds and Bible traders. So I do the deed, get up and leave the climb around a cedars. Yeah. Are you ready for the All right, fans, welcome to another uh, beautiful day here in Beersford, South Dakota for this uh, Matchup, Class A matchup between the visiting Elk Point Jefferson Huskies and the home Beersford Watchdogs. We'll get to the starting lineups in a short minute here. Uh, first pitch is uh, is shortly on the way. Pitching today for the Watchdogs is uh, Riley Lorwick. Catching today is Ivy Kaiser. First up for the Huskies is Hannah Nierman. Nierman Watch is the first one in there for a ball. Nierman doing the catching duties for the Huskies today, wearing number six. Takes a swinging cut there from Nierman on that one. Evens things up. One ball, one strike. Lorvik with the delivery, and uh, Nierman does send that one into uh, right center field. Right fielder's able to get to it and uh, relay it in, but Nierman with a leadoff stand-up double for the Huskies. Brings up the second batter, number five, Molly Geary. Geary. Geary's playing uh, third base today. Gets a bunt down. Livingston was right on it. Livingston playing third base. Quick charge on as soon as she saw it coming around. But uh, the objective was get the gear, or excuse me, Nearman to third base, and that was uh, achieved. So now a runner on third, one out. 
Brings up Sarah Schmitz. High pitch there from Lorvik. Schmitz wearing number 15 and playing center field today for the Huskies. Ball a little low. Schmitz had to jump and get out of the way of that one. So now two balls and no strikes. Another one low, so now three balls, no strikes. Head coach Jesse Stoffer telling uh, Schmitz this one's got to be perfect. Ball four, Schmitz will uh, approach first base. Not looking, they're going two. Schmitz uh, rounds first, goes directly to second. Base on balls and then steals second. Now with one down brings up number two, Paige Jacobs. Second baseman today for the Huskies. First one's fouled back. Again, Nearman on third. Schmitz on second. At bat is Paige Jacobs. Jacobs with another cut at it. This one will foul out of play as well. So now no balls, two strikes with one down. Runners on second and third here to Jacobs. Lorvik delivers that one a little low. Counts now one ball, two strikes. Another one just close to the uh, bottom of the strike zone there. Just a touch low is, uh, is the call. Two balls, two strikes. Big cut there. This one gets in the gap in left center field. Going to drive in two. Gets the cut into third base, but uh, Paige Jacobs with a stand-up double. Drives in Hannah Nearman from third base and also drives in Sarah Smits from second base. So now with one down, runner on second brings up McKinley Hammett. Wearing number four. Playing shortstop for the Huskies. Lovrick misses just inside, maybe a little low. Strike looking here, evens things up, one ball, one strike. Over gets Hammett swinging. One ball, two strike. One out, that's Jacobs on second. Lorvik with her first strikeout of the day retires uh, McKinley Hammett. That's now two down. Brings up the six batter in the lineup, number 14, Samantha Marks. Marks is playing left field today. Ball one low. Lorvik gets uh, Mark swinging here. So now one ball, one strike. Runner on second.
That one just inside. Two balls, one strike now to Marks. That pitch just a little low. Now it's three balls, one strike to Marks. Two down here in the bottom, excuse me, top of the first inning. Husky's able to put up two so far here in the first. That's going to be ball four. Marks draws a base on balls. Brings up number three, Reagan Rasmus in the DP. Lorvik first pitch strike here to Rasmussen. Evens it up, one ball, one strike here to Rasmussen. Pitch is low right at uh, right at the shins here of of Rasmussen. Pitcher Ivy Kai, excuse me, catcher Ivy Kaiser couldn't quite track it. It just was right at her feet. She turned around looking for it, and the runners were able to advance to third and second. So now we have Marks on second, Jacobs on third. Ball four, loads them up here, base on balls. Brings up Ainsley Getzinger. First pitch strike. Strike two here, so now two in a row to Getzinger. Strike three swinging, so Lorvik does get the third out here, but uh, damage is done with the power or the beginning of the Huskies lineup. Two, uh, two runs. On what I see here is two hits. Leave a couple on base. After one half inning, Huskies lead 2-0. We'll be right back after this break. Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kale are the two stylists. They don't have specific hours but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota. Call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners.
All right, fans, welcome back. Apologize for the uh, short delay. Up to bat here for the Watchdogs is uh, leadoff batter number 20, Reese Olson. She's playing center field today. Pitching for the Huskies is uh, Lauren McDermott. Doing the catching duties is Hannah Nearman. Again, just jumping in here a little bit late, but uh, looks like a full count here. Three balls, two strikes now to Reese Olson. Ball is low, so Reese Olson takes a leadoff walk. Brings up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan, wearing number 13, playing right field. Ball one here to Merrigan. Merrigan gets a cut at that one, sends it into the east field. Foul ball, one ball, one strike here to Kennedy Merrigan. Chopper to first base, opportunity for a double play, not gonna get it. Kennedy Merrigan retired on the first base, unassisted out. Reese Olsen advances to second base, brings up number 24, Ivy Kaiser, the catcher. Again, catching for the Huskies is Hannah Nearman. First pitch here for McDermott is low in the dirt. Huskies with a two-run advantage here, get two in the top half of the first. High pitch, Kaiser gets a hold of it, skies it out into the gap. Is dropped by the outfielders. Kaiser reaches on the high fly ball. Reese Olsen tags, advances to third on the drop ball. Kaiser will have a courtesy runner here. That's number 15, Kate Dagan as the catcher. She'll have a courtesy runner. So now with uh, one out, Reese Olsen on third base. Kate Dagan running for Ivy Kaiser on second base. And up to bat is a number 21, Hallie Livingston, third baseman. First pitch does get away. We're going to get a play at the plate. It's underneath of it. Reese Olson does get in for the score on the pass ball. Nice job there by Nearman to get to it and toss it back in. Just slid underneath of the tag. Kaiser does, uh, excuse me, not Kaiser. Um, Dagan does advance to third base. So now it's Huskies two, Watchdogs one. We're in the bottom of the second, one out. Hallie Livingston up to bat. Now a count, two balls, no strikes here to Hallie Livingston. Another one high, so now three balls and no strikes to Livingston. Head coach Matt Storrow calling out a number sequence. Ball is low, Livingston will take a base on balls. Brings up number 16, Keeley Merrigan. She's the DP today. Pitch is low. Livingston does take second base. Huskies kind of do a quick throwback to the pitcher. McDermott then looked uh, back at third base. Little elbows in chopper there for Merrigan. Goes foul towards first base, so evens things up. One ball, one strike here to Keeley Merrigan.
Chopper back to the pitcher, looks at uh, Dagan. Ball does get away from the first baseman. Dagan and Livingston both score on the air. Brings up number 14, Harley Koth, playing second base today. So now Watch Dogs lead three to two, bottom of one. Keeley Merrigan on first base, Harley Koth to bat. One out, first pitch strike here to Koth. Two strikes now to Koth. Keely Merrigan kind of hanging out over by first base. Had Nearman kind of run her back and then eventually a little flip to first base and uh, Merrigan slid back in there. Ball is high and gets to the fence. Merrigan easily goes to second, rounds it and then walks back. So now one ball, two strikes here to Koth. One out, runner on second. One was low, near the knees, two balls, two strikes. McDermott picks up her first K here, taking down Harley Koth. That'll be the second out of the inning for the Watchdogs. Brings up uh, Lily Siver, wearing number 22, playing shortstop today. Sivert takes one looking. That's now no balls, two strikes against Sivert. Get bottom of two, two down. Keely Merrigan on second. Pitch gets away there from McDermott. Rolls into home plate. Now it's one ball, two strikes. That one's up high. Two balls, two strikes. Chopper to first base. Gets the out there at first, so uh, three unassisted for the third out, but not before the Watchdogs can do a little damage. Get a couple hits, score three runs. After one complete, Watchdogs three, Huskies two. We back with the top of the second. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. This time of year, you're probably thinking about spring. We are too at Grossenberg because it's time for our annual filter sale. Save 16% on John Deere and Fleet Guard filters. Use our customer portal and save 18%. So stock up on filters now and don't let anything slow you down come spring. Stop in one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Partner up. Offer ends March 31st. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Welcome back to the top of the second inning. Jared had to run for uh, 
other duties assigned. So he will be back shortly. Up to bat right now we have number one, Natalie Haley. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. Now up to bat number six, Hannah Nearman. Riley throwing it right down the pipe there. First strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Hannah hits it to Harley Koth with a toss to Kaylee Iverson for the out. Two outs. Now up to bat for EPJ number five, Molly Creary. Hit to Harley again with another toss. Exact same play and it's the third out. As we transition, we will go to commercial. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers lead the field this season and beyond find your local crop consultant at nutrientagsolutions.com ag service partners is your trusted company for pioneer seed chemicals and crop insurance pioneer seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field ag service partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Kaylee Iverson for the Watchdogs is up to bat. We are at the bottom of the second inning. Watchdogs three. Elk Point Jefferson two. I am Troy James. I am a Watchdog fan and Taven Walder's number one fan who is in the on deck circle <laughs> two balls one strike no outs Foul ball, three balls, one, two strikes now, full count. Look her to be a more aggressive here. Got her looking. Up next is sophomore Taven Valder.
After that foul ball, we got one ball, one strike. Ball two. Three balls, one strike to Taven. That got out. <laughs> nice shark uh, to the right field. Taven Speed got the first overthrowing ball. I'm not a softball expert. Dr. Dagan is that an error? Throwing error on the right field there, possibly. But anyway, the watchdog's got a runner in second. Up to bat is Reese Olson. Up high. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Base hit the left field. Taven's gonna score. Reese is going to get to second. Big hit and insurance run for the watchdogs. Next up for the Watchdogs, number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. Like that up high pitch and swung it. Two balls, one strikes to Kennedy. Inside. Three balls, one strike. Five pitch walk to her. All right, fans, back after a quick break here. Bottom half of the second inning now. Up to bat is Ivy Kaiser. This could be trouble in short center field, and it is. Olsen has to tag. Oh, good play there from uh, Merrigan to get in to second base. Again, had to go part way because of uh, the number of outs and the little pop fly that potentially could have been caught. But uh, Merrigan slides in there. Everybody's safe. Ivy Kaiser again gets the, as the catcher, gets the courtesy runner of Dagan at uh, second base, excuse me, first base. Does bring up number 21, Hallie Livingston. That pitch is a little low.
Big cut there from Hallie Livingston, does not connect. It's now one ball, two strikes showing on the board to Livingston. High one there and uh, McDermott strikes out Livingston. Show second out here brings up uh, number 16, Keely Merrigan, the DP for the Watchdogs. Chopper to the shortstop, big sling over to first. Does get there in time for the third out. So Merrigan with the 6-3 put out for the third. Watchdogs do score a one here in the top, or excuse me, bottom of the second. With two complete, Watchdogs lead 4-2. to two. We're back with the third inning. Poor Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back. Uh, first pitch uh, chop there from Sarah Schmidt. Hits it to the shortstop. Is an error on the throw, so Schmitz reaches first base on an error. Takes second and third after the ball gets around and bangs off the fence. So Schmitz again with a leadoff uh, reach on an error and then two stolen bases. Brings up number two, Paige Jacobs. Again, Paige is uh, playing second base today for the Huskies. First pitch swing. It's down, we're out of play where I can't see it. Does catch uh, the pop fly for an out, but the tag up and run does score from Schmitz. So left fielder Taven Valder does get the out, so F7 for the first. Brings up number four, McKinley Hammett. Shortstop today for the Huskies. Had a nice play right before I stepped away. Hammett squares around, trying to get a bunt down. Goes just off the end of her bat. Foul ball, strike one now against Hammett. Laura gets a strike two swinging here against uh, number four, McKinley Hammett. It's now no balls, two strikes. Lorvik's pitch high above the head. Kaiser stands up and snags that one. So now one ball, two strikes here to Hammond. Another strikeout here for uh, Riley Lorvik. Second out of the inning. Not sure what happened in the second as I stepped away, but that is the third K that I see on my board here for Riley Lorvik. Brings up number 14, Samantha Marks. Again, playing left field today for the Huskies. First pitch a little low. Again, bottom, excuse me, top of three. I'm going to get my tops and bottoms mess around here. Top of three. Watchdogs currently lead four to three. 
Huskies got two early ones in the top of the first. Watchdogs uh, combated that with three in the bottom of the first. Strike there to Samantha Marks. Huskies don't score in the second, but now in the top half of the third here, pick up one early. Chopper coast slides, can't quite get to it. Marks reaches on a single. Brings up Reagan Rasmussen, wearing number th uh, three. She's the DP today. Reached on a base on balls the first inning. Comes out swinging here in the first. Misses it. Ball does get away from uh, the catcher. Samantha Marks does advance to second on the ball just dropping and getting away. Strike two swinging, so now one ball, two strikes here to Reagan Marks. Tough one here at third. Good play there from uh, Hallie Livingston, the third baseman. Charged that one. Again, just a soft hitter. Too far away for the pitcher to get it. So now a 5-3 put out. Slung it right over to Kylie Iverson for the three. So Huskies get uh, one here in the top of the third. So now it's Beersford four, Elk Point Jefferson three. We right back with the bottom half of the third inning. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Hi fans, welcome back. Bottom of the third inning here, Harley Koth. Second baseman for the Watchdogs watches that first one as ball one goes through. Koth fouls that one back. One ball, one strike. Koth did strike out her first time at bat. Koth fouls that one back now. One ball, two strikes. Can appreciate you joining us here on Watchdogs.live, Dogbone Entertainment. Normal crew here today. We got Micah James running the PTZs and the cameras. Got Renee James working the computer, Superintendent Dustin Dagan on the music, and local PA here at the game. That was just a little high to go with two balls, two strikes. No out here in the bottom of the third. Koth is the first batter. Koth gets caught swinging here, so a second strikeout of the game. First out of this half inning and brings up number 22, Lily Sivert. Sivert hit a chopper to first base in the first inning, so a three unassisted play. Swinging right to first base, gonna be another three unassisted and she puts her arms up and slaps them down on her legs. That's two, three unassisted for Lily Sivert. So two quick ones here for McDermott. In the bottom of the third brings up Kaylee Iverson. 
First pitch swing and pops it up. Catcher's back under it. Does get it. So great play there by Hannah Nearman. Had to spin, look into the sun, crowd the ball. So a one pitch out there for the pop up to the catcher. Watchdogs are retired one, two, three in the third. So now with three complete, it's Watchdogs four, Huskies three. We'll be back with the top half of the third inning. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Our fans, welcome back to the North Fields here in Beersford. Beautiful day for spring softball. Top of the fourth inning, Watchdogs four, Elk Point Jefferson Huskies three. Pitching for the Watchdogs is still Riley Lorvik catching his Ivy Kaiser. Up to bat is number 23, Ainsley Getzinger. First pitch swing, little fly out to Harley Koth over at second base. Brings up the ninth batter in the lineup, number one, Natalie Haley. She's the right fielder. Takes the first strike looking. Again, appreciate our crew. Uh, kind of referenced those a moment ago, all of our sponsors. Uh, sometimes uh, we forget to kind of get back to that, but again, uh, great opportunity for our local businesses and people to sponsor. Nice job there from uh, Second, excuse me, shortstop, Lily Sivert called it immediately, backed up into the grass. So F6 for the second out. Two little pop-outs to the infield here for Lorvik. Very efficient here in the top half of the fourth. She looks over to the dugout for the pitching call, looks at her wristband, and she faces uh, back to the top of the lineup, Hannah Nearman. Hannah with a double to start out the game, and then it did end up coming around to score. One of the Huskies' three runs so far. That one into the dirt, so now two balls and no strikes here to Nearman. Top of the fourth, two out, nobody on, three balls and no strikes here to number six, Hannah Nearman, the catcher. Again, reference had a great play to end that last half an inning. Lorva gets one right down the middle. Three balls, one strike now. Yearman settles back in. Lorvik with the delivery. Fouls that one back. So now uh, Lorvik kind of fighting out of that 3-0 hole. Now got things squared up here at 3-2. Nobody on with two out. One a little low. It's going to be a two hopper to Cyber. Gets a hold of it. Nearman too quick down the line. Again, kind of a tough two hopper. We're going to credit that a single to Hannah Nearman. Good speed on the bases. We'll look for her to potentially take one here. Last time we did see Geary lay down a bunt. With two out, we'll see what coach decides to do here. Up to bat, number five, Molly Geary. Playing third base, Hallie Livingston, the Watchdogs third baseman, does creep up a little bit. Strike one call here to Molly Geary.
Sivert sends it to first, not in time. So two quick plays down to first. Get another tough, slow roller there. We're going to credit Geary with the hit there as well. So now two singles in a row with two out. Geary on first, Nearman now on second. Brings up number 15, Sarah Schmitz, the center fielder. Nope, that one's a little high. Now two balls, no strikes to Schmidt. Again, fans, you're getting some great camera angles. Uh, Micah James, uh, one of our students here at Beersford School District, running uh, those PTZs. Takes a little extra work to get some of that equipment set up. Help bring some of those extra views. And again, we appreciate the opportunities, whether it's uh, the Frostbite 4 Race Committee. Uh, we had some Perkins uh, dollars, getting kids opportunities, local dollars. Getting a little bit of this new equipment, some of that wireless technology that allows these things to be out in center field or be behind home plate give you some of the nice views of the game. So again, uh, little steps here that we gad gradually get some new equipment and technology and then learn how to put it in place for an event. 3-1 pitch there to Schmitz and she draws a base on balls. So now with two out, Watchdogs uh, had the bases empty. Now bases are loaded for the fourth batter in the lineup, Paige Jacobs. She had a double in the first and a fly out to left field in the third. That one just a little low or outside. One ball, no strikes here to Jacobs with bases loaded and two down. Huskies in threatening position here. We'll see how Riley Lorvik works away out of this. That pitch just a little high and outside. So now two balls and no strikes to Jacobs. Big hit. This is going to bounce in front of the center fielder. Going to get it in quick, but one, two runs are going to score. Keep Jacobs at first, but Hannah Nearman comes in to score on the base hit, and so does Molly Geary. Schmitz advances to third, and Jacobs reaches first on the hit. So now two runs here for the Huskies in the top half of the fourth, and they now have a one-run advantage, five to four. Dogs all come into the pitching circle. Coach has called a number. They're all looking at their wristband. So now with a runner on first and a runner on third and two out, you could assume that the Huskies are going to try to advance Paige Jacobs over to second base. Again, all dogs again looking at their wristbands. We'll see if they throw down and try to get Jacobs for the third out of the inning. Did they quick snap it back to Riley Lorvik? Or do they fake the throw and send it down here to third base and try to pick off Sarah Schmitz? McKinley Hammond up to bat here for the Huskies. Lorvik with her first delivery. Jacobs goes to second, and none of those things happen. So Watchdog's just uh, willing to let Jacobs advance to second. First pitch was a ball to Hammond. Second pitch ball. Now two balls, no strikes. Potentially gave the announcer's curse here or a predict, predictive call. Reference working with efficiency through the first part of two quick outs, and then all of a sudden the Huskies get something going here, but now Lorvik gets Hammett to get one swinging. So now two balls, one strike to Hammett. Two out in the top of the fourth. Huskies got two runs so far, lead now five to four. That pitch was just a little low. So now Hammett's three balls in one strike. Oh. 
Tough one there, that is, I believe, ball four. No, three, two, I missed one in there somewhere. So now it's three balls and two strikes. So I missed one early in there. Full count here to uh, McKinley Hammett. Two down, top of the fourth. Gets one swinging, so that is the third out of the inning. Another strikeout for Lorvik. But not before the Huskies can put two more on the board. So now Huskies lead five to four. We're halfway through the four, so three and a half complete. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back here to the North Fields, Grace Nelson Fields here in the north side of Beersford. Bottom half of the fourth inning, leading off for the Watchdogs is the left fielder, Taven Valder, reached on a single in the second inning. That pitch is low to Valder. Huskies and uh, Watchdogs, you know, in the inaugural season had some good battles. Uh, Huskies did come out a little bit ahead of them, 3-0 uh, on each of those uh, games. In the regular season. Pitch uh, is hit by Valder. Goes over to second base. Fielding air at first allows Valder to reach. It was going to be close anyways, but it was uh, an air at first base. Allows Valder to reach. Brings up the leadoff batter, number 20, Reese Olsen, the center fielder. Again, referenced uh, those three matchups last year. Huskies did sweep that as a 3-0. Olsen's showing bunt. McDermott does step back off. Olsen still showing bunt. Gets one down. A lot of spin on it. It's going to be trouble. The out. Olsen does get the bunt down. Perfect. Had a ton of spin, but sat out in front of home plate. Everybody had to run for it. Reese Olsen with the bunt single. Better part of that advances Valder, who was going. She rounds second and goes all the way to third. So now with no outs, Reese Olsen on first, Taven Valder on third, brings up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. She's showing bunt early, pulls back. That's a ball in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher, Reese Olsen advances to second. So now runners at second and third with no outs in one ball now showing to Kennedy Merrigan. Merrigan not showing bunt now. Chopper right in front of the plate does go just foul. One ball, one strike now to Kennedy Merrigan. Merrigan out in right field. Kind of referencing last season, Huskies uh, did qualify for the state tournament, place six. This is going to get down. Going over towards the fence, gets by the right fielder. It's going to score two. Merrigan's going to round and go to three. We're going to get a stand-up triple out of Kennedy Merrigan. Great at bat for Kennedy Merrigan with runners in scoring position. Gets it down the line, bounces towards the fence, gets away from the right fielder, and Kennedy Merrigan with a great little hit there, three baser, scores uh, Taven Valder and Kennedy, excuse me, and Reese Olsen. Pop fly into left field, air by the fielder. Merrigan does tag up and score, so now three runs in the bottom half of the inning. Ivy Kaiser again reaching on the air out in left field. Kaiser, the catcher, will get a courtesy runner. That's Kate Dagan over on first base. So now no outs. Brings up the senior, number 21, Hallie Livingston, the third baseman. Chopper foul ball, foul ball down first baseline. 
Again, Watch Dogs with three runs here in the bottom half of the fourth. Had a lead, gave it up in the top half, and now quickly regained that lead. It's now Watch Dogs 7, Huskies 5. Livingston gets on it, over to shortstop, bobbles it. Still makes the play over at first base, so even with a bobble at shortstop for the Huskies, that is a McKinley Hammett we referenced her with a great play earlier. So 6-3 put out for the first. Does advance uh, Ivy Kaiser's position or base runner, Dagan over to second. Now one down, runner on second, brings up number 16, Keeley Merrigan. She fouls one off that's going to get out of play over on the right side. Merrigan is the DP today for the Watchdogs. Reached on an error in the first, grounded out to the shortstop in the second. And now her third at bat here. Strike two swinging. McDermott now with a no ball two strike lead over Keeley Merrigan. That pitch is high. Merrigan doesn't chase, so one ball, two strikes. Feel just a little bit more of a breeze all of a sudden, kind of coming uh, back out of the south direction. Still very comfortable here, very sunny. Merrigan gets one out to left. We had trouble here earlier, two outs. No, oh, excuse me, one out. Get down, we're good. So uh, another air out in left field. Merrigan on the drop ball does go to second. One down, the runner does advance to third after the tag up. So now uh, Merrigan at second, Kaiser Dagen combo at third. One down brings up number 14, Harley Koth. Koth watches the first one. Couple strikeouts here in the game for Harley Koth. Good opportunity here to get the bat on ball and make some contact and bring in a couple more runs for the Watchdogs. Good cut at that one, just missed it. So now one ball, one strike. Little show of bunt there from Koth. Now it's two balls, one strike after the pullback on the bunt show. Big cut there from Koth, does not connect. Now two balls, two strikes. Dagan on third, Keely Merrigan on second. One out, bottom of the fourth, Watchdog seven, Huskies five. Strike three looking, so Koth goes down on a strikeout. That'll be the second out of the bottom half of the fourth. Brings up number 22, Lily Sivert. Shortstop with a couple runners in scoring position. Her first to at bat, she grounds it right to the first baseman who fields it and gets her out unassisted. And now this first pitch, she fouls down the first baseline. So Sivert just a touch behind McDermott here so far tonight. See if she can come around on one and make some good contact. That pitch is high. Good eye there from Sivert letting that one go. One ball, one strike. Two down, runners on third and second. There, Sivert gets it. It's going to be over the head of the right fielder. This will score two. Ball hits off the fence. Sivert will stand up and stay at second. So great job there from Lily Sivert. Big double here in the bottom of the fourth inning from Lily Sivert. Scoring two runs batted in. Again, that's the Kaiser Dagen combo and the Keeley Merrigan coming in to score. Watchdogs now with five in this half an inning. They lead nine to four over the Huskies. Brings up number 25, Kaylee Iverson. Iverson with a little fly out to 
pitcher. This is hit well. Over the fence, Kaylee Iverson with a home run. Two run home run from Kaylee Iverson, the first baseman. And all smiles as she comes in with her watchdog teammates there. She jumps on uh, home plate. Her first ever home run in a high school ball game. Great at bat there and great uh, job by Kaylee Iverson with the home run. Chance to potentially break things open here for the watchdogs. They've now batted through in the fourth. We'll get back to uh, Taven Valder with her second at bat here in the fourth inning. Reach on an air to start this uh, half of the fourth. Watchdogs now 11, Huskies 5. Seven run inning so far here for the Watchdogs. That first pitch is low. Again, we're bottom half of the fourth. Watchdogs 11, Huskies 5. Two outs, nobody on. One ball, no strikes to Valder. Valder contact to second base. Gets the easy put out, but not before the Watchdogs can inflict a lot of damage here in the bottom half of the fourth. We'll be back right after this commercial break for the top half of the fifth inning. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back. Up to bat for the Huskies is number 14, Samantha Marks. Watchdogs with a big bottom of the fourth inning. Watchdogs batted through the lineup, but the highlight there was the first baseman, Kaylee Iverson, with a two-run home run shot out over center field. Lorvik with a little something off speed looking, and she gets Mark swinging and fouling that one off, so no balls, one strike. Again, all these teams in the regular season battling for position within the entire Class A standings. Based on seed or power points, the top 16 teams in Class A will make the Sodak 16. From there, those games, 1 versus 16, 2 versus 15, and so on, will play off for a chance to get a berth at the state tournament. So again, every one of these regular season games matters. Marks now with a one ball, two strike count against her. Again, Lorvik looked like something just a little bit off speed there. This is Marks' third time up to bat here. So again, just trying to mix things up, speed and location at this point. Marks reached with a base on balls and a single previously. That one's just a little low, so now where uh, Lorvik had that no ball, two strike advantage, I now show three balls, two strikes on my card. Showing 2-2 two, two on the scoreboard, but I believe it's 3-2. Gets Marks to foul another one off, so now it's... Uh, Again, I think it's 3-2. Now he's showing 2-2, two, two, so it is two balls, two strikes. Marks fouls another one back. This one stays against the fence. So good battle here between Lorvik and Marks.
Again, top of the fifth. Watchdogs lead 11 to 5. Listen to Jared Olson on the call here. Watchdogs out live. Dog won't entertainment. Marks follows another one back. The catcher, or excuse me, the umpire is completely out of balls. Get all these foul balls that uh, Samantha Marks has been uh, fighting off here. Get these back in and get the umpire's uh, reserves on his hip built up. Fouls another one back and out of play. Assistant coach uh, Nierman over on the first baseline has another one brought in that we can uh, get play continue here. That one's just a little low, so now it's three balls and two strikes. Lorvik steps back behind the pitching plate. Gets the pitch call in, looks at the wristband, steps on the pitching plate with the delivery. That one's just a little low, so great at bat there from Samantha Marks. The left fielder reaches on a base on balls after a long at bat and fouls a lot of balls back. And Reagan uh, Rasmussen comes up to bat with three balls in her hands that were all foul balls brought into play. Pitcher Riley Lorvik sends the one she had back in. She wants one of the three that... Uh, Behind the plate, umpire Josh Schulte just picked up. And he's going to send that one out of play. He's sending that down to the watchdog dugout, and the watchdog dugout sends one back to him. Brings up number three, Reagan Rasmus in the DP. Again, Samantha Marks reaches with a long at bat, finally gets a base on balls. Bunt shown, got a chance for a play, could not quite field it clean over at second base. The bunt attempt was there. Did not make contact. Marks kind of got hung out into no man's land. She eventually does steal second base. That pitch was a ball to Rasmussen. Does get a strike called looking. So now one ball, one strike here to Reagan Rasmussen. Samantha Marks on second, no outs here in the top of the fifth inning. Big cut there from Rasmussen. Just misses. One ball, two strikes to the DP. Strike three, swinging. Reagan Rasmussen goes down on strikes. Riley Lorvik picks up another strikeout here on the day. Brings up uh, number 23, Ainsley Getzinger. She flew out to second base and had a strikeout earlier in the game. First pitch just a little inside. Get on the call, Jared Olson. Sitting next to me is uh, student Micah James running the cameras. Renee James, staff member at Beersford School. This is a pop fly, right center, cutting towards, uh, neither one of them could get there. Run is going to score, stand up double there for Ainsley Getzinger. Just right in the gap, neither one of the uh, right or center fielders could get over to it, landed right before they could get there. So Ainsley Getzinger with a stand up double. Samantha Marks scores from second base. It's now Watch Dogs 11, Huskies 6. Brings up Natalie Haley. Center fielder Reese Olsen's under it. Does get the catch made. Getzinger tags up and does not advance. So fly out to center field for the second out of the inning. Back to the top of the order. This is where the damage has been caused by the Huskies. Brings up number 6, Hannah Nearman. The catcher, a double and a single so far. Pitch is just a little high to Nearman. Again, Ainsley Getzinger, first baseman. She's currently on second base. Two down here in the top of the fifth. Of 
Lorvik's delivery just a little low. Two balls, no strikes here to Nearman. Good pitch in there from Lorvik. Gets one strike here to Nearman. She takes that one looking, gets a feel for it. Strike two swinging, so now two balls, two strikes of the leadoff batter, Hannah Nearman. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Top of the fifth inning. Runner on second, Watchdogs lead 11 to six. This one's gonna get into left. Valder cannot quite get it. Tried to get it low down by the knees, running in with her glove down. Nearman reaches second base. Does bring in Ainsley Getzinger. So now Huskies with a little rally here, come back. It's now Watchdogs 11, Huskies 7. Top of the fifth with two out brings up Molly Geary. Third baseman, strike one looking. That pitch into the ground, one ball, one strike here to Geary. Hot fly towards second base. Koth cannot quite uh, hold on to it. Nearman running on contact with two outs. Wise base running there from Hannah Nearman. She scores on the fielding air. So now with Molly Geary on first, Sarah Schmidt up to bat, the center fielder. It's now Watchdogs 11, Huskies 8, so a three-run inning here so far for the Huskies. Big shot over to the shortstop, deep in the hole. Single there for Sarah Schmidt. Advances Geary to second. And it brings up second baseman, number two, Paige Jacobs, their cleanup batter. She had a double in the first, flew out in the third, and a single in the fourth. First pitch is high. Solid hit there from Jacob. Sends that out into uh, left center. Going to score two. and allows Jacobs to reach second. So a single there from Jacobs. Throwing the ball in does allow Geary, to, excuse me, Jacobs to go to second. Geary scores and so does Sarah Schmitz. So now a five run inning here for the Huskies and it's Beersford 11, Elk Point Jefferson 10. Two down with a runner on second. So again, Jacobs on second. This brings up number four, McKinley Hammett, the shortstop. She's got three strikeouts so far on the day. Coach did just come in, head coach Jesse Stauffer did just come in and talk to uh, Hammett. Well, the Watchdogs took a quick timeout and we're visiting with their pitcher. Hammett does show bunt, pulls it back. So now it's one ball, no strikes here to Hammett. Jacobs on second, Watchdogs a lead, 11 to 10. Foul ball did touch her back. Umpire did rule, still in the box when that contact was made. So now one ball, one strike to Hammett.
Hammett does try to get the bunt down again and misses that time. One ball, two strikes here to Hammond. Lorvik looking to get one in here, get this inning wrapped up, and uh, get to the bottom half of the fifth. Big cut there from Hammett. Does not connect. Lorvik does just that. Picks up another K, gets the third out. But again, the uh, Huskies inflict some damage here. Five runs in the top half of the fifth. We've got a good one here, fans. Four and a half complete. We're we'll back right after this break for the bottom half of the fifth. State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back here. Top, bottom half of the fifth inning. The home half of the fifth. Watchdogs, uh, again, batted through in that fourth inning. So now the uh, bottom of the fifth here is the leadoff batter, number 20, Reese Olsen, the center fielder. Reached on a base on balls, a double, and then a single. Watches the first one in there for a strike. Again, back and forth here. Good, good contest so far. Another one goes through looking. Strike two against Olsen. So now no balls, two strikes. McDermott's pitch just a little high. Not much. One ball, two strikes here against Olsen. That pitch is high, away from the catcher, goes off of the fence. So now two balls, two strikes. Is a count McDermott against Olsen. That pitch is into the dirt, so now it's three balls, two strikes. See the Huskies uh, JV team starting to warm up. Hang in there, fans. We will be broadcasting both the varsity and JV games. So, Ball four. Olsen with an 0-2 hole. Draws four balls. Gets another base on ball. So now that's two base on balls, a double, and a single. Brings up Kennedy Merrigan. Last at bat for Merrigan, that big triple. Kind of started and got things really rolling there in the fourth. Big cut, goes by the first baseman. Olsen is gonna round second. So Merrigan with a hard hit single, rolls out into right field. Olsen advances to third base, brings up number 24, Ivy Kaiser, the catcher. So now a runner, which is Kennedy Merrigan on first, and Reese Olsen on third, brings up Ivy Kaiser. First pitch swing. Out to left field. Reese Olsen tags. I couldn't see exactly what happened out there. It must have been dropped. Kaiser is staying on first. Kennedy Merrigan tagged and moves to second. Reese Olsen scores. Again, Kate Dagan doing the courtesy running for the catcher, Ivy Kaiser. So now Dagan on first, Kennedy Merrigan on second. First pitch swing there from Hallie Livingston, fouls one straight back. Okay. 
Shows bunt, takes a swing at it, does not make contact. Strike two called now, so now a no ball, two strike count here to Livingston. Stays alive there, fouls that one off to the right side. No ball, two strikes to Livingston. No outs. Watchdogs lead 12 to 10. Dagan on first. Merrigan on second. Senior Hallie Livingston pitch up the middle, right back to the pitcher. Good play there from McDermott for the 1 3 put out, first out of the inning. Runners do advance, so Merrigan and Dagan do advance. So now with one out, runner on second and third brings up Keeley Merrigan, the DP. That ball is a little low. Merrigan reached on an error in the first. Round out to the shortstop in the second. And a little fly out. This would be an error. She reached on an error in the fourth. She hits into a uh, ground out to the second baseman. Does get the RBI. Bringing in Kennedy Merrigan, her sister. And Dagan does advance to third base. So Watchdogs get a couple here in the bottom half of the fifth. Harley Koth with a first pitch strike against her. That one's high, one ball, one strike. And Watchdogs now with those two runs in this uh, half an inning, lead 13 to 10. One ball, two strikes now to Koth. She steps out of the box, now settles back in. McDermott adjusting her face mask. Koth wisely lays off of that one. Two balls, two strikes. Two out here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Got Dagan on third base in scoring position. Koth just gets a piece of that one, fouls it back, so stays alive here. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Bottom of the fifth inning, runner on third. Watchdogs lead 13 to 10. Koth contact, left field, center field. Center fielder calls it off, so it's a fly out to center field. F8 for the third out of the inning. Watchdogs get a couple runs there. They lead 13 to 10. We're back with the top half of the six. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule an appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. So I do the deed, get up and leave a climb around a sadist head. Are you ready for the sequel? All right, fans, welcome back here. Top half of the six. We're going to get a pitching change here. So the uh, Watchdogs are going to bring their DP, Keely Iverson. She is going to, excuse me, Keely Merrigan is going to come in from her DP position, and she will be pitching. And Riley Lorvik, the pitcher previously and the flex player, will go out so this is uh, just going to be a, a swap between the dp and flex watchdogs will now run a traditional nine person lineup here with the dp and flex being off and the dp 
coming into the full lineup pitching and batting. So that'll be the adjustment here for the Watchdogs in the top half of the six. Up to bat for the uh, Huskies will be number 14, Samantha Marks. Marks reached on a base on balls, had a single, and then another base on balls in the fifth. So uh, if you remember, uh, Marks had that uh, extremely long at bat where she kept fouling Lorvik off before eventually drawing the base on balls. First pitch, a little fly ball over to the home run hitter, Kaylee Iverson. So nice job offensively and now defensively from the first baseman, Kaylee Iverson. So great outing for her today. A little fly out to first base for the first out. Brings up number three, Reagan Rasmus in the DP. Watchdogs doing a quick time. Catcher Ivy Kaiser goes out to talk to the pitcher. Keely Merrigan pointed at her wrist. She does not have a pitch card on her arm. I'm not sure if that's part of what they're looking at or what they're doing, but they smiled and nodded, and now uh, Kaiser is back behind home plate. Merrigan's first pitch low in the dirt. One ball, no strikes here to Reagan Rasmussen. Get Rasmussen on a base on balls in the first. Ground out to the third baseman and then a strikeout in the fifth. Good eye there from Rasmussen. Takes two, so now it's two balls and no strikes. That one's low as well, so now three balls, no strikes to Rasmussen. Keely Merrigan's got a little work cut out for her here against Rasmussen. Sends one right in there for a called strike. Three ball, one strike here to Rasmussen. Ball gets away, it's off to the side. See if Rasmussen turns and looks here. No, she just takes the base on balls. Brings up Ainsley Getzinger. Again, big double there from uh, Ainsley uh, in the last half an inning in the fifth. High fly ball that went out towards left center field and uh, landed right between the fielders out by the fence. Ball one here to Getzinger. That ball is fouled up. It is out of play. Ah, the fans are all cheering. I believe one of the parents caught that one barehanded back here out of play. Now with one out, one ball, one strike to Getzinger. Again, Rasmussen on first base. Strike two call, it's a good pitch there for Merrigan. Chopper up in the gap, gets uh, the field there from, uh, got the field there from uh, Sivert. so nice job by Sivert getting to it. Good job by Koth to get over to second base, so they get uh, Rasmussen on the fielder's choice. For the second out of the inning, Ainsley and Getzinger reaches on the fielder's choice. We're going to get a pinch runner here. We're going to get a substitution here from the Huskies. Coming into the game is number nine, Laney 
micrometer. Micrometer will be the pinch runner. We'll see what they do on the fielding side after this half an inning. Up to bat, it's number one, Natalie Haley. Runner does go. Kaiser throws from her knees. Ball is getting away from the second baseman and the shortstop and got by the center fielder. Just bad hops out there. Trometer advances uh, on the stolen base to second, and then on the fielding airs, uh, advances to third. Hot shot there from Natalie Haley down the third base line. Gets out into left field, so Haley with the double with a hot shot down the third base line. Scores Trometer. And again, we come back to this top half of the order where they've really inflicted some damage. Again, Watchdogs now 13. Huskies 11. Brings up number six, Hannon Nearman. First pitch is high. Now two balls, no strikes to Nearman. Merrigan gets one in there, two balls, one strike. Again, leadoff batter, heart of the order coming here, so we're Nearman, Geary, Schmitz, and Jacobs. But two down currently here against the Huskies. See if Merrigan can get out of this one. Pop fly out into center field. Olsen comes up, does field it. Stayed back initially, got an eye under it. Did come in and retired Nearman, so F8. Watchdogs get out of that half the inning. Give up one run is all. Currently here with five and a half complete. It's Watchdogs 13, Huskies 11. Give it off to CC, gliding to the basket, out to 3J, Hayes, good! And Eric Lemon wants to stop the music. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, as anticipated, or excuse me, the Huskies did do a little offensive, defensive, Switch, so they brought in Laney um, Trometer to run, and they did uh, bring Ainsley Getzinger back into the game now defensively. So that's her one reentry back into the game. So now at first base and in the eighth slot again is Ainsley Getzinger. That's her one reentry back in the game. Bottom half, the six here for the Watchdogs brings up Lily Sivert. First pitch strike here to Sivert in the bottom half of the six. Again, reference Sivert, a couple of ground outs to first base, but then got one tattooed for that double in the fourth. Second pitch ball here to Sivert, one ball, one strike. Contact down to first base. Really nice defensive play by the second baseman to get there, but an air at first base. So. Sivert uh, sending him down to first base today. This time was able to be lucky enough to reach on an air.
Head coach Matt Storrow calling out a number. He's got Seivert on first. Kaylee Iverson off of that home run in the fourth. Up to bat. Called strike here to Iverson. Iverson with that little fly out to the catcher in the third. Big cut there. 0-2 uh, now to Iverson. Pitch outside, one ball and two strikes now to Iverson. Again, bottom half of the six. Watchdogs 13, Huskies 11. Listen to Watchdogs at Live, Dogbone Entertainment, Jared Olson, Micah James, Renee James, Dustin Dagan, and the rest of the crew here, aided by uh, wireless cameras set up in different spots. You guys are getting a great view of the action. Iverson fouled that one back out of play. One ball, two strikes. The count remains here to Iverson. That pitch is high. Good job behind the plate there from Hannah Nearman snagging that one. Kept Sivert from advancing off of first base. Two balls, two strikes here to Iverson. That one's low, good eye. Three balls, two strikes. Dermott steps back, readjusts the uh, mask, steps up onto the pitching plate, then backs off, now back on again. Chop there from Iverson. Huskies do get the lead runner, so it's the 5-4 put out. Get on the base. 5-4 put out. Iverson is safe at first base. Watchdogs are gonna do a little offensive defensive substitution here on the bases. Gonna be a substitution, gonna bring in number seven, Anna Latondras. Kaylee Iverson, the first baseman, she will substitute out. Head coach for the Huskies, Jesse Stauffer, wants to go out and talk to the base umpire. Could be a myriad of items. She's kind of pointing into the infield area. The first base, or excuse me, the base runner did leave first base, but they did not actually go into dead ball territory. Took some steps in towards home or the pitcher's mound. But did not enter dead ball territory. Now was out of the baseline, but was not avoiding a, a tag. But I believe the runner, again, uh, my un, unsure opinion here, now the two umpires are going to visit, did not get into dead ball territory, which would be the point where they enter the dugout and would then be called out. Umpire still discussing this one. Again, I believe the, the question, uh, we're a long ways away, but my, my speculation that the, the question being, being asked here is did the base runner, when she stepped off of first base, did they leave the field of play? We've had look back rule questions uh, before against the Huskies, are they questioning whether they left the base when they couldn't? The ball, the ball was, I believe, again going to a memory, I believe the ball was with the pitcher in the circle. 
base umpire is still visiting with the head coach. Now the home base umpire is going to go out there and join the discussion as well with the head coach for the Huskies. Okay, it appears the item is settled at least uh, at this point. Anna LaTondres has entered the game, so she will be in the eighth spot. Again, wearing number seven. Anna LaTondres running for the Watchdogs. Up to bat is number one, Taven Valder. Valder looks to get a bunt down, does send it just foul, so now one strike here against Valder. Watchdogs with one down, looking to get some runners advanced here. Balder, sleeves rolled up, showing bunt again. No, pulls back, swing, up the middle. Nice job by the center fielder. Ball did get away. Yeah, the umpire is calling uh, obstruction here, so. Delayed ball obstruction was the call by the umpire. Third baseman did drop the ball, but did block the base, so the Latondras couldn't get in. He quickly stuck his left arm out, so the obstruction was called, so batters are awarded the bases they got. So that's Valder with a single, and then on the play at third, she advanced to second. Latondras uh, on contact, rounded second, went to third. Close play. Back to the top of the order, brings up number 20, Reese Olson. Base on balls, a double, a single, and another base on balls. One ball, one strike to Reese Olson now. Now two strikes. One ball, two strikes, one out. That one's just low. Nearman grabbed it and framed it up just a little bit. Wasn't quite there. Two balls, two strikes now to Olsen. That pitch is high. Loads things up here. Three balls, two strikes. Latondras at third. Valder at second. One out. Reese Olson up to bat. That one is in the zone. Olson slaps it past the second baseman. Going to score two. Olson advances to second base. Drives in two RBIs. So Olson with the single, advances to second. Latondra scores, Valder scores. Brings up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. First pitch, chop to the shortstop. Trouble at first base again, Merrigan. Back to first base, Reese Olson scores from second with the air at first. Brings up number 24, Ivy Kaiser, double in the first, single in the second. Reached on an air in the fourth, and then reached in the fifth, and I forgot to mark how she reached. Watchdog 16, Huskies 11, bottom of the sixth inning. Kennedy Merrigan on first, Ivy Kaiser up to bat. That one's a little low. Merrigan's going to second. Gets in there. The 
Kaiser watches that one high. Two balls, one strike to Kaiser, one out. Kennedy Merrigan on second. Head coach Matt Storo, don't run into a tag out. That one's low, good snag there from Nearman. Save the runner from advancing. Three balls and one strike now to Kaiser. Good pitch there from McDermott. Three balls, two strikes here to Kaiser. Nice job by the Watchdogs so far today, being selective at the plate. Taking and looking at a lot of pitches for McDermott and then taking advantage of it when they can. Kaiser, there she does. Watches a lot of them, takes advantage of it when she can. Throw comes into third. Merrigan quickly rounds third and goes home. So good base running there from Kennedy Merrigan on contact. Gets to third, rounds and goes home. Ivy Kaiser again watches to a full count. Makes great contact with the single and now the courtesy runner for the catcher will come in. That is Kate Dagan on first base. Watchdog 17, Huskies 11, bottom of six, one out. Brings up the senior, Hallie Livingston, third baseman wearing number 21. First pitch ball, Dagan's going to two, nobody's there. She's up and looking at three. No, the center fielder comes in and grabs it. So nice job by Dagan taking second, ready to turn and go three, but nice job by the center fielder for the Huskies. That's uh, Sarah Schmidt out there. Came in and grabbed that one and uh, held Dagan to second base. Livingston, uh, big cut, evens things up. One ball, one strike. Livingston base on balls in the first, strikeout in the second, ground out to the shortstop in the fourth, and ground out to the pitcher. This one's out in right field. Good field by the uh, right fielder, so fly out to right field. F9 out in right field, that is Natalie Haley. So Livingston, the second out, brings up number 16, Keely Merrigan. She was the DP. We've substituted that of the DP flex. She's now the pitcher. Pitch is in the dirt, so now one ball, one strike to Merrigan. Merrigan watches one there, one ball, two strikes. Two out. Dig it on second. Bottom of six, Watchdogs lead 17 to 11. Merrigan goes a high one. Center fielder comes in and gets it. That's three outs. So Merrigan flies out to the center fielder for the third out. We go to the top of the seventh. Huskies needing six to keep this thing going. Right back after this break. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. World is full of demon stocks and bonds and Bible traders. So I do the deed, get up and leave the climb around a sadist. Yeah. Are you ready for the seat? Our fans, welcome back. Top half of the seventh. Watchdogs lead 17 to 11. 
Keeley Merrigan still on the mound for the Watchdogs. Again, those tuning in, uh, JV teams are going to get warmed up, and uh, we'll reach Hawk and rake the field quick here, and we'll get the JV game going and uh, covered here on Watchdogs.Live, Dogbone Entertainment as well. Up to bat here is uh, second batter in the lineup, Molly Geary. Third baseman, she's got a first pitch ball to her. Huskies uh, will face West Central on Monday is what they've got coming up. Fly ball, Sivert's calling for it, still on the infield. Gets it, so a little fly out to Lily Sivert at shortstop, F6 for the first out. Two more here for the Watchdogs. But they gotta go against number 15, Sarah Schmidt. Base on balls in the first, reached on an air in the third, and a single in the fifth. She scored three runs today so far. That first pitch is high. Watchdogs uh, have coming up. They uh, face Lennox on Monday and Sioux Falls Christian next Thursday. So again, Watchdog fans, a little bit of a home uh, stretch going here. So come on out to Grace Nelson Fields on Monday night. We'll face Lennox. And then next Thursday, we'll have Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. So Merrigan doesn't like that ball, sends it back in. Umpire doesn't like it either, so he sends it over to the dugout. Two balls, no strikes here to Sarah Schmidt. High cut it, it fouls it back to the concession stand. Two balls, one strike now to Schmidt. Again, reference Huskies uh, had the better part of the Watchdogs last year, swept them three times. Another ball here to Schmitz. Three balls, one strike. Top of the seventh, one out. Watchdogs looking to change that and get their first victory against the rival to the south, the Elk Point Jefferson Huskies. Good pitch there from Merrigan. That one looked a little off speed, and Schmidt was out in front of it. So now three balls and two strikes to Schmidt. Center fielder, a couple of great plays out in the field so far in that last half an inning. Strike three, looking at it. So Merrigan with a big K here in the top half of the seventh inning for the second out. Now brings up number two, Paige Jacobs. Second baseman and the Watchdogs are one out away. Big cut left field, this is trouble. That is over the fence, so Paige Jacobs with the one pitch swing bomb over the left field fence, so that is a home run for Paige Jacobs. See if that sparks a little rally here for the Huskies. Now currently down five runs, 17 to 12, here in the bottom half of the seventh. And head coach is coming in with a substitution. We'll get the call here. In is number 13, Kay Kaylee Getzinger. For number four, McKinley Hammett. So into the game is number 13, Kaylee. Getzinger. Merrigan's first pitch here to Getzinger is a little high. Second pitch a little low, so good eye by Kaylee Getzinger coming into the game here. Strike swinging there from Getzinger. Now it's two balls, one strike. Again, top of the seventh. Watchdog 17, Huskies 12. Two outs. Watchdog's looking to pick up one more defensively here. That one's just a little low in the dirt. Three balls, one strike now to Getzinger. Kaylee steps out, looks down the line at Jesse Soffer. Merrigan with the delivery, called strike, check swing there from Getzinger. 
Either way, full count. Three balls, two strikes, two out. Top of the seventh. Watchdogs up by five. Strike three looking. That's the end of the game. Keeley Merrigan with the strikeout. Two of them here in the seventh inning. That's a game, folks. Uh, Watchdogs wrap this one up. 17-12. Ton of offense and some good defense. So fans hang in there. We'll be back with the JV game shortly after this break. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford. Siesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Siesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including Auto Owners Insurance, of course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your spot with Live Ticket TV. With over 65 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you find the right market. Plus, you can work with me, Heath, and a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town's changed. Yeah. About damn time. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. 
The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials, W-E. We. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kale are the two stylists. They don't have specific hours but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota. Call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. This time of year, you're probably thinking about spring. We are too at Grossenberg because it's time for our annual filter sale. Save 16% on John Deere and Fleet Guard filters. Use our customer portal and save 18%. So stock up on filters now and don't let anything slow you down come spring. Stop in one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Partner up. Offer ends March 31st. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers. Lead the field this season and beyond. Find your local crop consultant at NutrienAgSolutions.com. Ag Service Partners is your trusted company for Pioneer Seed, Chemicals, and Crop Insurance. Pioneer Seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field. Ag Service Partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance. Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. 
Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs. There's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule an appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. Give it off to CJ, gliding the basket out to free J. Hayes. Good. And Eric Lemon wants to stop the music. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford.
Siesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Siesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including auto owners insurance course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your spot with Live Ticket TV. With over 65 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you find the right market. Plus, you can work with me, he, and a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town has changed. Yeah. About damn time. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials, W-E. We. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kale are the two. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners.
Dallas. They don't have specific hours, but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota, call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. This time of year, you're probably thinking about spring. We are too at Grossenberg because it's time for our annual filter sale. Save 16% on John Deere and Fleet Guard filters. Use our customer portal and save 18%. So stock up on filters now and don't let anything slow you down come spring. Stop in one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Partner up. Offer ends March 31st. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers. Lead the field this season and beyond. Find your local crop consultant at NutrienAgSolutions.com. Ag Service Partners is your trusted company for Pioneer Seed, Chemicals, and Crop Insurance. Pioneer Seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field. Ag Service Partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance. Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back for the second half of this uh, varsity JV doubleheader here in Beersford. Up to bat for the Huskies is number nine, Laney Trometer. She's playing shortstop today for the Huskies. Takes two balls and now gets one strike looking. On the pitching plate for the Watchdogs is Kennedy Merrigan, and catching is Harper Olson. Trometer fouls that one back. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch is in the dirt, so now three balls, two strikes. Full count here to the leadoff batter. Number nine, Laney Trometer. That's a base on balls for Trometer. She'll advance to second. It'll bring up the center fielder, Tessa McMahon, wearing number seven.
Very good miss is just a little outside. One ball, no strikes. Gets in there for a strike, evens things up. One ball, one strike, McMahon. Merrigan hop out in the dirt, gets past the catcher, allows a trometer to round second. Tessa takes a swing at that one. Two balls, two strikes. Strike three swinging, so uh, Kennedy Merrigan racks up a K here in the first inning. Brings up uh, number 12, Sailor Comes. Comes. Comes will be doing the pitching here in the JV game for the Huskies. First pitch is low. Just a little inside on that one. Now two balls, no strikes to Comes. That one's a little low as well, so now three balls, no strikes. Four pitch uh, walk here to Comes. Trometer now on second, Comes on first, brings up number 13, Kaylee Getzering. First one low to Getzinger. Another one misses just low. Bounces out in front of the plate. Now three balls and no strikes here to Getzinger. Four pitch walk here to Getzinger. Loads things up for the Huskies. Brings up number 21, Cam Norris. Norris will be playing third base. Fouls that one back off of the fence. Base is loaded, one out, no balls, one strike here to fifth batter in the lineup, Cam Norris. Grounder to the third baseman comes home but the run had already scored so just a little late on that play so that brings in Trometer Comis goes to third, Getzinger goes to second and Norris reaches on the fielder's choice up to bat is number eight Lexi McDermott playing left field for the Huskies first uh, pitch ball Huskies out to a 1-0 lead here in the top half of the first. Three balls, no strikes here to McDermott.
four pitch walk. That will score a run. That brings in Comes. Quick players time here. Catcher will go out and visit with the pitcher quick. Bring up number 28, Breanne Johnson. So now Getzinger on third, Norris on second, McDermott on first, and brings up the catcher, Brianne Johnson, number 28. First pitch misses just a little outside. Gets one in there for a strike. Now one ball, one strike to Johnson. Two in a row here for Merrigan. Johnson with now a one ball, two strike count against her. That pitch evens it up, two balls, two strikes. It's contact on it. This one is going to go foul out of play. Remains two balls, two strikes. Well, just a little outside as well. So now three balls, two strikes. Base is loaded with one out here in the top of the first. This one's fouled up. He is going to get out of play. No chance for it. Count remains. Three balls, two strikes to Johnson. Merrigan loses the battle here on this one. Issues a base on balls. Johnson will reach first. McDermott goes to second. Norris goes to third. And Getzinger will come home to score for the third run in this half of the inning. Brings up number 17, left-handed hitter Addie Jacobs. She's the second baseman today. Gets one in there for a strike. Pitch does get away. No runners moving. Two balls, one strike here to Jacobs. It's a tough one on the hands here. Lorvik grabs it, not sure where to go with it. Just gets it back to the pitcher and uh, runner will score there. So that is Norris coming in to score. McDermott goes to third. Johnson goes to second. And Jacobs does reach first. Brings up the number nine hitter playing right field, Haley Harkness. Wearing number 11 here for the Huskies. First pitch strike. Just a little lower outside. One ball, one strike. Strike called. One ball, two strikes now to Harkness. Two balls, two strikes.
Ball does go up and get away. Runners do not move. Catcher could not. Still finally found it. It's now full count. Three balls, two strikes to Harkness. One's low. Base on balls issued to Harkness. McDermott will score. Johnson to third. Jacobs to second. Pitch coach 20, Lorvik, does call timeout from Blue and does ask uh, for an opportunity to speak with his group here at the pitching circle. Watchdogs do break up their uh, visit here. Katie Berrigan will remain on the pitching mound. Back to the top of the order for the Huskies. Laney Trometer fouls the first one back. Again, just joining in, Jared Olson. Now joined by Renee James doing double duty. Strike in there, the trometer. One ball, two strikes. On the PA music, sometimes accidentally, is Superintendent Dustin Dagan. To the dismay of the umpires. Pitch does get away, runners going. Does get in safe at home base. So that was uh, Brianne Johnson taking home. Jacobs advances to third, and Harkness goes to second. Clean off home plate. Erase all the hard work we did getting the chalk back down. Two balls, two strikes to Trometer. Full count, three balls, two strikes, one out. Top of the first. Solid contact. Ball was knocked down. Out in center field. Trauminer does reach on that play. Jacobs does uh, tag up and score. Harkness remains on second and Trometer on first. Brings up number seven, Tessa McMahon. McMahon makes contact, gets it over to Lorvik, rifles it over to first, gets the out. Good 5-3 put out there for the Watchdogs. That's the second out of the first inning. Brings up number 12, Sailor Comez. Again, reference Comez will be doing the pitching here for the Watchdog, or excuse me, for the Huskies. When we get to the bottom half of the first. First pitch is a ball. Pitch is low, does get away, play it first. Cannot quite get her in time. So I believe that was Harkness scoring since Trometer over to third. Ball gets away, runner does not go. Two balls, no strikes here to Comis. Oh, 
ball three bounces front of the plate. Good stop there. Excuse me, ball four. I missed one in there. Comez does advance to first base, so now first and third. Lorvik will take another timeout here. We're going to see a pitching change. Center fielder Kate Dagan is going to the dugout, I'm assuming, to grab a mask. Yeah, sure enough, we'll have a relief pitcher here in the first, being up 15, the freshman Kate Dagan. Just be a swap of uh, positions on the field, so batting order won't change, and I believe the Watchdogs might even be batting through in the JV game here. Dagan will take a few warm-up pitches. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Beersford Telephone is your full-service local telephone company, providing telephone service, sales, high-speed fiber optic internet packages, and professional surveillance systems for both commercial and residential customers. Beersford Telephone also offers the only in-town gig certified internet provider, which offers the highest speed services. Wanting to upgrade your existing service? Contact Beersford Telephone today and let them get started on your high-speed services in no time. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. First pitch to Getzinger is a ball. Comas isn't able to advance to second on that pitch. Little contact on it late from Getzinger, sends it foul down the right field line. It's kind of one ball, one strike, one strike here as Dagan takes on Callie Getzinger. Just a little bit inside, two balls, one strike. Good cut out into center field. Finds the gap, going to go to the fence. Getzinger's going to score a couple here. Does drive in Trometer. And Comez. So Getzinger with a double out into the gap. Brings up number 21, Cam Norris. Third baseman. First pitch, just a little low out of the zone. Two balls, no strikes now to Norris. And runner at second, that's Getzinger. Three balls, no strikes. Coach here on third base tells Norris, green light, let's go. Ball four, Norris will reach on a base on balls. Getzinger will advance to third on the pass ball. Brings up Lexi McDermott, wearing number eight. Playing left field here for the Huskies. Dermott fouls that one back out of play. Strike two, swinging. Norris goes to second on that pitch. Strikeout there for Kate Dagan. Gets the Watchdogs out of that half an inning. But not before the Huskies can put up 10. We'll be back with the bottom half of the first inning. 
Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back. Bottom half of the first inning here. First up to bat for the Watchdogs is number 15, Kate Dagan. Dagan started out in center field. Has moved to pitching position now. Pitching for the Huskies is uh, number 12, Sailor Comez. Catching for the Huskies is uh, number 28, Brianne Johnson. All right, Comus with her first pitch here to Kate Dagan. Dagan, first pitch swing. Good play there by the uh, shortstop. That's Laney Trometer with a nice play out in the field. So Trometer retires Kate Dagan on the little fly out to the shortstop for the first pitch, first out of the inning. Up is number four, Harper Olson, the catcher for the Watchdogs. Watches that first one high. Harper watches another one. Two balls, no strikes here. That pitch is high, so now three balls, no strikes to Olsen. First strike uh, thrown in there. Harper swings at it. Just foul ball over by uh, Coach Lorvik. Three balls, one strike, not Olsen. Swings on strike two. Comez fights through this one. Uh, down 3-0. Now evens things up here at 3-2. Ball four, that one's high. Also advances on a base on balls. Capri. Brings up number 19, Capri Molinix, the first baseman. Little check swing, Olson goes into second. Good back up there by the second baseman. Gonna get your name on that one, that was a good play. Addie Jacobs with a nice back up there on the steal attempt, or steal there from Harper Olson. So nice job there by Jacobs. Mullenix watches that one a little high. Olson goes into third, head first. Yeah, we're gonna have to launder that thing now. A little pre-soak on the white. Mullenix fouls that one off. Two balls, one strike now to Mullenix.
That ball's a little low. Good eye there from Capri Molinix. Ball four to Molinix. She'll take first base on a base on balls. Brings up number seven, Anna Latondris, the second baseman. First pitch swinging. Ball does get down to second. They're trying to do a little play, I think, off the pitcher. Uh, Olsen does take advantage of it and scores on the play. Molinix does take second, and then on the play back at home, Molinix advances to third. So Latondris on the swing and miss there has now got an 0-1 count against her. Good chop at it. Good play by the shortstop. Looks back at uh, third. Does keep Molinex from scoring, so nice play from the shortstop. Latondris retired on the 6-3 putout for the second out of the inning. We got your name on the shortstop here as well, as that was another nice play. Laney Trometer had that little fly out. Now she picks up that grounder, looks the runner back before retiring Latondris at first. Next up to bat here is number three. I believe that's Tori Sharp. Sharp playing shortstop today for the Watchdogs. Count on the board is one ball, one strike. Good cut. Out into right field. Two down. Molinix will score. It is over the head of the fielder. Sharp is looking to go. Stays at second, so hit over the head of the right fielder. We'll chalk that up as a double. Brings up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. Playing center field right now for the Watchdogs. Sharp is on second. Good shot. This one's out into left field, over the head of the left fielder. Two down. Sharp was running. Merrigan uh, holds up at second. So a first pitch double there from Kennedy Merrigan. Scores Tory Sharp. Brings up number 28, Riley Lorvik. Riley's playing third base today in the JV game. Starting pitcher for the Watchdogs in the varsity game. Lorvik didn't get any bats in that uh, varsity game. They had the DP flex going, so she was just in for pitching purposes. Get some bats and fielding action here for the Watchdogs in the JV game. One ball, one strike now to Lorvik. Thank you. Cut down third base, two outs. Play is completed, so Lorvik with the 5-3 ground out for the third out in that half the inning. Watchdogs do get a few on the board, though. Pick up three after one complete. It's Huskies 10, Watchdogs 3. The colder season is here, but the deals remain hot at the bridges. Be sure to stop out Thursday nights for their Thursday night special, which features a variety of food specials from 5 to 8. The Bridges at Beersford is a great place for any event. The event center is not just for weddings, but for reunions, business meetings, benefits, baby showers, really anything. The Bridges at Beersford isn't just the best nine-hole golf course in the area, but is always open for a great time in Beersford. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events. 
all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We all want to be happy, but sometimes that doesn't feel possible. But if you have hope, you have everything. Rising Hope Counseling provides high quality mental health services with locations across South Dakota. Additionally, by providing telehealth, we ensure South Dakota's rural residents have access to high quality mental health services. Our team lives and works in your communities, and we understand the unique challenges we face. Schedule appointment by phone or online today. Rising Hope Counseling, offering hope, healing, and change. All right, fans, welcome back. Does bring up uh, number 28, Brianne Johnson. First pitch strike from Dagan to Johnson. Johnson makes contact on the second. Hard hop does go off the short uh, stops glove, so Johnson does reach. Hard hit ball brings up number 17, Addie Jacobs. She's second baseman today for the Watchdogs left, excuse me, for the Huskies left-handed batter. First one's just outside. Huskies put up 10 in the top half of the first. Jacobs fouls that one off. One ball, one strike. Dagan gets uh, Jacobs swinging at the second one. Two balls, two strikes. Watchdogs toss it down to first, trying to get a look at Johnson sneaking off. Johnson does take second play and she's in there safe Jacobs does strike out so uh, Kate Dagan with a strikeout first out of the inning brings up number 11 Haley Harkness again Johnson uh, takes second Jacobs retired brings up Harkness and she takes the first strike looking Ball does bounce from the plate. Does either get deflected by catcher or the umpire. I'm not sure which one, but uh, nonetheless, ball got away. Johnson wisely takes third base on that one. Good cut there from Haley Harkness. Cannot quite connect, so one ball, two strikes. Sun is starting to set. Winds uh, just a little bit more out of the south. Start to cool off a little bit if you're just sitting here. Still a very nice evening for ball. Two balls, two strikes here to Harkness. Contact gets through out into left field. Johnson does score. Harkness is held up at first, brings up Short stop and leadoff batter number nine, Laney Trometer. Reference Trometer a couple times defensively here already. Reached in the first uh, base on balls and then an air. Scored twice in the first. Cut high fly ball out into right field. Cannot get to it, play at second base. Got her. Tough spot over there for uh, Harkness to be. Wasn't sure if the right fielder was going to get to it. Could only go so far. And ultimately, uh, kind of got caught in no man's land there as the ball bounced in front of the left fielder. So that's going to be a 9, called a 9-6 put out for the second. Trometer reaches and now on the pass ball goes to second. First pitch ball here to Tessa McMahon. We're in number seven, playing center field. Late swing there for McMahon. One ball, one strike.
It's contact, trouble area just over the pitcher's head. Flip to uh, first, not in time. So again, just a little pop fly over the pitcher, beyond the pitching circle, but short of the second baseman. And uh, good speed there from uh, Tessa McMahon reaching first base. Brings up Sailor Comez, pitcher. First pitch ball. Trometer on second. McMahon on first. One ball, no strikes to Sailor Comez. Two down here. Huskies have scored one so far in this half of the inning. Currently lead 11 to three. Does get a strike there against Comez. Swinging, but uh, Trometer does steal third base. Throw down, but attempt uh, was not quite in time to get her. Now on this pitch, McMahon takes second. So now McMahon on second, Trometer on third. Going to be a base on balls here for Comez to load things up. Brings up the fourth batter in the lineup, number 13, Kaylee Getzinger. She's the first baseman. Reached on a base on balls and also had a double. Watches the first one. Shot down first base. Mullenix knocks it down. Most importantly, picks it up. Gets the uh, unassisted out there at first base, so Huskies do score one there in that half of the inning. So now it's Huskies 11, Watchdogs 3. Back after this break for the. Give it off to CC, gliding the basket out to 3J. Hayes. Good. And Eric Glenn wants to stop the music. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing. First batter for the Watchdogs, that was number eight, uh, Brindley Moaning. Gets a quick contact on it, but right to the shortstop for the 6-3 putout. Brings up number 10, Gracie Ebert. Ebert, first pitch swing. Pitch, watches it just a little outside. One ball, one strike now to Ebert. That pitch is low. Two balls, one strike. Good pitch right in the sweet spot. Just pops it up a little too much. Fly out to the first baseman. 
Brings up number 11, Brielle Bidney. Strike one called. Chopper right in front of the plate. It's going to be a foot race. Nice job there by the pitcher, Comez. Bear handed it. Ball was not rolling very fast or going very far. Bear handed it and threw out Bidney at first. So 1-3 put out. That's a 1-2-3 inning there for Comez. After two complete, uh, Huskies 11, Watchdogs 3. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 3,800 stores. With Benjamin Moore's premium quality, you can be confident you're getting the best. You can buy in store or order what you need online for curbside pickup or delivery. When you want the best, Benjamin Moore paint from Ace at participating stores. Find Benjamin Moore paint and other great products at your locally owned Olson's Ace Hardware in Beersford. Fiesta Foods in Beersford is a family-owned store that offers a convenient one-stop shop where you can find everything you need. From the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world, find their weekly ad on their website. Fiesta Foods also has the best selection of cut meats in their deli department, fresh bakery, and fresh produce. And no matter the season or holiday, Fiesta Foods has it all right there in store. Open seven days a week. Fiesta Foods is your one-stop store right in the hometown of Beersford. Customer service is more than just a word. It's what Jensen Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance does every day. We have more companies than most agencies in town. We're able to find a competitive market for each family. We're able to farm that out, quote it with each of our carriers, including Auto Owners Insurance, of course, and see where it best fits. In Sioux Falls, Beersford, and Elk Point, go to JensenAgencyOnline.com to find out more. Jensen Insurance Agency, building relationships since 1944. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back to the north side of Beersford. Grace Nelson Fields, top of the third inning here in the JV game, brings up number 21, Cam Norris. Pitching change here for the Watchdogs, bringing out number eight, Brindley Moaning. Norris fouls that first one at a play to the right side. High swing there from Norris. No balls, two strikes here for Moaning to Morris. Good knockdown there by Latondres. Just can't quite get to it though. Hard hit ball there from Norris. Reaches on a single. Brings up Lexi McDermott. Dermott playing left field here for the Huskies. Owning gets another pitch across there. Strike one. Hard hit ball against another one. Gets out into left field. Brings up number 28, Brianne Johnson. Yeah. 
Another good contact. That's going to get down in the gap. Fielders will bring it in. Play a third. Not there in time. So Norris scores from second. McDermott advances from first to third. And Brian Johnson on the base hit gets a single. Brings up left-handed batter Addie Jacobs, wearing number 17. Runner is coming, gonna score without a play. Pass ball. Johnson does go to second on the pass ball as well. Two balls, no strikes now to Addie Jacobs, second baseman. Just misses on the outside. Three balls, no strikes now to John Jacobs. Does stick the bat down uh, to fake the bunt. Pulls it back up, and as she pulled it up, it was a high pitch. Just went off the bat as she pulled it up, so an accidental foul ball. Three balls, one strike now to Jacobs. Does get the base on ball walk after all. Jacobs now on first, Johnson on second, brings up number 11. Haley Harkness, the right fielder. All right, quick discussion between the pitcher and catcher. Now in the box, number 11, Haley Harkness, the right fielder. Shot down to first, get it for sure out. Contain the runners at third and second. So Johnson goes to third and Jacobs goes to second. But uh, Capri Molinix gets the out three unassisted on first. And that is the first out of the half inning here. Brings up Laney Trometer. Again, top of three, Huskies 13, Watchdogs three. Trometer fouls that one back out of play. Two balls, one strike, now to Trometer. Just off the plate, three balls, one strike. Wanted to kind of just take a check swing and pull that back. Another accidental foul ball here for the Huskies on pitches they didn't intend to get bad on ball. Fills it up here at three balls, two strikes now to Trometer. Base on balls here for Trometer. So now Trometer on first. Jacobs on second and Johnson on third. Brings up number seven, Tessa McMahon, the center fielder. First pitch swing, ball does get away from the catcher. Bases loaded, one out here in the top of the third. Tessa McMahon up to bat. No balls, one strike count. 
Moaning gets a good pitch across the plate there. Man swings, no balls, two strikes. Man fouls that one back, count remains, no balls, two strikes. Pitch delivered a little high and inside. That one a little low, evens things up here. Two balls, two strikes, McMahon. One out, top of third. Contact in the gap. That's going to get out into center field. Play at third. Catcher couldn't hold on to it. So McMahon uh, reaches on the single. Goes to second on the advanced ball. Trometer goes over to third. Huskies do score two. That was Johnson coming in. And Addie Jacobs in the play at the plate. Brings up Sailor Come as number 12, the pitcher. Two balls, that one gets away from the catcher back to the fence, but the batter does hold, or excuse me, the runner at third, Trometer does hold up. Again, top of three, Huskies lead 15 to three. One down, batter is Comez. Now three balls, no strikes to Comez. We're gonna try a different ball here. One strike there to Comis. Three balls, one strike. Late swing, no ball, excuse me, three balls and two strikes now to Comis. Full count, one down. Runners on second and third. First base is open. If it dropped, third strike. Ball does get away. It's a base on balls. Brings up Kaylee Getzinger. It's a pitch in there for a strike. That one just a touch high. One ball, one strike now to Getzinger. Two balls, one strike, not a Getzinger. High fly ball, potential of it being in play. Does land foul. Two balls, two strikes. Hot coffee is just delivered, so we appreciate that. Yes, 
Good pitch there for Moaning. Retires Getzinger with the K. That is the second out in the inning. Bring up Cam Norris. <clears throat> First strike swinging. Norris uh, led off this uh, top half of the third inning. Her second at bat here in the third. Had a single first time up. Shot right to shortstop. Gets through into the outfield. Going to score a couple. So Cam now with uh, two singles in the top of the third. Scores Trometer, scores McMahon. Comez goes to third. And Norris is on first. So it brings up number eight, Lexi McDermott. Norris took second on that first pitch. High fly ball. This could get out of our view. Nope. Does land in short left field. Runners were going, so McDermott uh, goes to first. Norris scores from second, and Comey scores from third. Huskies are now out to a 19 to three lead and we've got a player down in the outfield coaches are coming out let's take a quick commercial break while they check on our player advertising can be a struggle where to spend your money are you reaching the right audience if you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once then here is your spot with live ticket tv with over 65 schools in the state of south dakota we can help you find the right market plus you can work with me he and a portion of all sales made go right back to the school. Get a hold of me today and let's get started in helping build your brand with Live Ticket TV. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Yep. Man, this town has changed. Yeah. About damn time. All right, we did have a, a dead ball runoff. So, again, this is a sportsmanship item from the Huskies. So, they did have one of their runners step off and uh, dead ball fall by leaving early. So, that will be the third out of that half of the inning. So we will take a quick break and be back with the bottom half of the third. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back. Up to bat for the Watchdogs, number five, Michaela Schneider.
Contact just over the first baseman's head. Flip, not in time. Oh, no, I thought it was not in time. Called out at first, so they got by the first baseman. Second baseman was backing it up, so it's going to be a 4-3 put out for the first out at first base. Brings up number 15, Kate Dagan. First pitch ball. Ball two to Dagan. <laughs> Takes one looking. Two balls, one strike. Got a swing at it, just fouled it off. Two balls, two strikes. That one's inside. Fills it up here. Three balls, two strikes. Comez to Dagan. Ball four, Kate Dagan with the base on balls. Number 19, Mullinex. Brings up number 19, Capri Mullinex, the first baseman. Contact out to center field. It's going to be overhead, off the fence. Mullinex into second. Dagan rounds third. Good hit there from number 19, Capri Molinix, the double out to center field. Again, Dagan does score from first on that hit. Brings up number seven, Anna Latondras. First pitch swing there from Latondras, fouls that one back out of play. It's a ball, one ball, one strike to Anna Latondras. Pitch is high. Molinix will take third base. Pitch got away from the catcher just a little bit. Two balls, one strike here to Latondras. Just a little high. Three balls, one strike. Tondras goes upstairs chasing that one. Fouls it off. Three balls, two strikes. Gets contact over to third base. Play at first, dropped by the first baseman. Good stretch there, just couldn't quite hold on to it. Capri Molinix does score from third base. Brings up number three, Tory Sharp. Short stop for the Watchdogs. It's a JV game. Pitch is high. Sharp falls that one back out of play. One ball, one strike. Contact. Slow roller to second base. 
Underhand pitch over to first. Sharp is retired with the 4-3 underhand put out. That'll be the second out of the inning. Brings up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. Strike one called. Again, bottom of three, Huskies 19, Watchdogs five. Merrigan looks at a ball high. Good off-speed pitch there from Comez. Called strike there against Merrigan, so now one ball, two strikes. This one could land in uh, no man's land, and it does. Ricochets off the right fielder's knee, so Latondres goes in to score. Good little bloop hit there. Single for Kennedy Merrigan. Brings up the third baseman, Riley Lorvik. We're in number 28. Riley Lorvik takes first one looking. The ball is one strike, two out, bottom of third. That one does bounce in front of the plate, got away from the catcher, so Kennedy will advance to second base. One ball, one strike here to Lorvik. Contact out to center field. Hey, good play there from the center fielder running. Uh, she was shading left field. Had to run across center of the field. Got over into right center territory before she snags that one. So that's a fly out to center field for the third out. After three complete, Huskies 19, Watchdog 6. The foundation for how we do business is right in our initials. W-E. We. Everything we do is a partnership. We understand solving the many complex challenges growers face every day takes teamwork. And when we succeed, we do it together. That's the power of we. Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford is your destination for fun with darts, pool, and to catch all the action no matter what game it is. The colder season is here. Keep your perfect golf swing by using the indoor golf simulator. From the gridiron to the court, Classics is your spot to catch all activities of Watch Dogs Live. Ready to cool off with a cold one? Classics Lounge is always ready to serve them up with a bite to eat too. That's Classics Lounge in downtown Beersford. Sheer Magnolia Salon and Beauty Bar offers you normal services but more. We offer haircuts for men, women, and children. Aaron and Kayla are the two stylists. They don't have specific hours but will stay open late to accommodate families that are always on the go. Their services include full body waxing, mini petties, coloring, spray tanning, and more. They are your number one choice for all things beauty. Located in Beersford, South Dakota. Call 605-763-2011 for your appointment. Fans, welcome back. Top of the fourth. Brianne Johnson takes that first pitch, pops it up right into the pitching circle. Brindley Moaning calls for it on her own, and the, the fly out to the pitcher for the first out of the inning brings up a left handed batter, number 17, Addie Jacobs, second baseman. She fouls first pitch back against the fence. That one just a little off the plate. One ball, one strike. Moaning with an off-speed pitch. Gets Jacobs out in front of it.
That one's closed, just a little high. Strike three, K for Brindley Monin. Second out of the inning, so a little fly out and then a strikeout. Do have a substitution here, brings up number 27, Kayla Shirky. Pitch gets over to Sharp at third, sends it across the field to Capri Molinick, so efficient fourth inning there for the Watchdogs. 5-3 put out for the third, so 1-2-3. We go to the bottom of the fourth where we will see Moaning, Ebert, and Bidney for the Watchdogs. For over 80 years, Sioux Corporation has been designing and manufacturing industrial pressure washers, steam cleaners, water heaters, water chilling systems, and steam generators to serve the needs of their customers. Sioux Premium Equipment is designed and built with reliability, performance, durability, and user safety as its top priorities. Sioux is locally owned and operated in Beersford and a proud supporter of all things watchdog activities. This time of year, you're probably thinking about spring. We are too at Grossenberg because it's time for our annual filter sale. Save 16% on John Deere and Fleet Guard filters. Use our customer portal and save 18%. So stock up on filters now and don't let anything slow you down come spring. Stop in one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Partner up. Offer ends March 31st. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Our fans, welcome back. Bottom of the fourth brings up number eight, Brindley Moaning. Started out right field, been doing some pitching now in the last couple innings. Fouls the first one back. If you're listening to this uh, broadcast right now, you've missed your opportunity to catch the Friday night uh, show of the Beersford School musical, The Adams Family. Little shot to the shortstop. Fields it cleanly, sends it over to first. Gets the out, so retired at first as Brindley Moaning with the 6-3 put out. Brings up number 10, Gracie Ebert, but again, no fear, fans. We do more than one showing of the Adams Family Musical. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock, you can catch a matinee option in the uh, elementary gym at the stage there. And then they will perform again tomorrow night, Saturday night at 7 p.m. So, again, uh, get out and see the Adams Family Musical from the Beersford students. Saturday evening, 2 o'clock. Saturday evening, 7 p.m. Ebert goes low for one to the shortstop. Another good sling across the uh, field and a good stretch over there from the first baseman. So another 6-3 put out for the Huskies. Brings up number 11, Brielle Bidney. Makes contact, going to go just foul. Hopper back to the pitcher. 1-3 put out. After four complete, Huskies 19, Watchdog 6. For healthier crops and stronger yields, count on Nutrien Ag Solutions. By partnering with the leader in plant nutrition, you'll have access to innovative products and unmatched service that deliver impact and efficiency to every acre. Healthier crops, happier growers. Lead the field this season and beyond. Find your local crop consultant at NutrientAgSolutions.com. 
Ag Service Partners is your trusted company for Pioneer Seed, Chemicals, and Crop Insurance. Pioneer Seeds has developed and tested products to meet your challenges in the field. Ag Service Partners also has you covered when the white rain comes or anything else you may need with crop insurance. Tested and tried chemicals right here in the area to provide the best yield for your field. Write down the number and contact Ag Service Partners for the best farming season year in and year out. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. Moaning with the first pitch strike here in the top of the fifth inning. Substitution here for the Huskies. In the bat is number 30, Brittany Johnson. She fouls that one back out of play. Moni now with a no ball, two strike advantage over Johnson. That ball was inside. Again, another really nice evening here, Beersford. Weather's been a little rough to this point. Again, a good opportunity for kids to play and to see some different things. Sharp at third base. Another nice 5-3 put out over to Capri Molinex at first. Brings up number seven, Tessa McMahon, the center fielder. Just referenced her in the last half inning. Uh, she was getting shading a little bit towards left. Ball was hit uh, into right center field. She got over there and made the play. She just scoots out of the way of getting hit by a pitch. So now one ball, no strikes here to McMahon. Fouls that one back against the fence. One ball, one strike. Again, big thank you to the team members, Matt Sorrow, Renee James, Dustin Dagan, Micah James, Tony Lorovic, everybody who kind of chipped in to get the equipment and everything set up here. BMTC brought down a... Uh, fresh device for us. Something wasn't working quite right. A switch. They brought down a switch for us. So we appreciate Austin and Rob and uh, Tony and the entire crew down at BMTC. Third pitch strike and uh, was dropped but uh, gets retired at first base nonetheless. Brings up Sailor Comez. So again finish it up. Thank you to everybody that was able to get the equipment set up help make this uh, Varsity JV broadcast a possibility. Comez gets a swinging strike here in the first pitch. Foul ball. Shaking that one off the foot. No balls, two strikes, two out here. In the top half of the fifth inning, Watch Dogs gotten three quick outs in the fourth, and now two quick outs in the fifth. Off speed pitch, third uh, strike dropped. Nice job by Grace Ebert under uh, staying calm and getting it down to first base. So another K, another three up, three down. After four and a half, Huskies 19, Watch Dogs six. In the bottom half of the fifth, we'll see Schneider, Dagan, and Molinex. Are you looking for a professional house painter in the surrounding area? Big or small, new or old, Albers Painting specializes in restoring the true beauty of your home or business. Albers Painting is your professional commercial painter in Lenox in southeastern South Dakota. They are locally owned and operated, focusing on providing quality painting and top-notch customer service. 
For your next project, contact Albers Painting for a free estimate for your home or business. Welcome back to the Sioux Corporation Press Box. Sioux Corporation, the industry leader in manufacturing water heaters and chilling systems, steam generators, pressure washers, and steam cleaners. All right, fans, welcome back to the Grace Nelson Fields, bottom half of the fifth in this varsity JV doubleheader. We are in JV action. Huskies 19, Watchdog 6, bottom of fifth. Still on the uh, pitching plate for the Huskies is Sailor Comez. Up to bat for the Watchdogs, number five, Kayla Schneider. First pitch ball. Contact, slow goer towards second. Just in time, 4-3 put out for the first out of the inning. Brings up Kate Dagan. Now it's just outside, one ball. It holds off a high one, two balls, no strikes. Contact. Oh, great snag by the second baseman. She quick pumps her hands in the air. Line out to the second baseman for the second out. If we're still in the same positions we started out in, that is Addie Jacobs with a good snag over there at second base. Brings up Capri Molinex. Capri with that big double in the third inning. Base on balls in the first. Capri's made a couple good plays playing first base as well. Looks at one, two balls, one strike. And Watchdog's back in action. I believe it's Monday here versus Lennox. And then home next Thursday uh, with Sioux Falls Christian. So I think those will be a couple good games if you're looking to get out next week. Come out here to the north side of Beersford. Cheer on the Watchdogs as they take on the Lennox Orioles and the Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. Mullinex watches a fourth, base on balls. Bring up number seven, Anna Latondres. That pitch does end up just outside off the plate, just off the catcher's glove. Mullinex kind of Lit out there a little bit. Thought better of it and came back to first. Latondris rips on it, gets it into left field. Molinex rounds second but holds there. So Latondris with the hard hit single. Brings up number three, Tori Sharp. Contact, going to be foul and out of play. No balls, one strike to Sharp. Latondris on first. Molinix on second. The board is correct. It's Huskies 19, Watchdog 6, bottom of five. Contact, pop fly. Second baseman, and she gets that one as well. So a little fly out to the second baseman for the third out. And that is a wrap on this one. Five innings, Huskies 19, Watchdog 6. Again, musical tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock in the elementary gym. Uh, if you can't make that, try to get there at 7 p.m. tomorrow. It's the Adams family. 
And then next week, the Watchdogs will be home on Monday versus Lennox Softball and on Thursday at home versus Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. On behalf of the crew, Watchdogs at Live, Dog World Entertainment, thanks for tuning in.